Hey everyone, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today we are going to shoot the ASP 10 round skill check, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I wanted to do the 10 round skill check for people who do not have a range where they can draw from the holster, and we'll see what expectations change from there. So you see us shoot the 10 round skill check. We talk about it in our classes all the time, and I think it's an incredibly important part of being a good defensive shooter. Now, uh, what that is, is it is four simple strings. You're gonna draw and fire one shot to the high center chest, then uh, on, on the timer. So you're gonna hear a beep, draw, fire one shot, high center chest. Second one, draw and fire one, high center chest. So that's that draw to first shot. Next one from there, we're going to fire two to the head box. So we're gonna draw and fire two uh, to the head box and we'll record the time. Then our last string, we're gonna draw and fire six to the center chest. Now, of course, it takes time to get my cover garment cleared, get the gun out, and start going to work. So what happens, though, when we're at a range that we cannot do that from the draw? Well, then we just delete the draw and we start it from a low ready. Now, let's define what a low ready is. In order to be a low ready, I want to have at whatever distance I am, I want to be able to see at least the waist of my perp. If I can see his waist, then I'm looking over my sights and I am at a low ready position talking a to or about this perp. So this is what we're going to start with a low ready. Now, if you wanted, you could start that at a compressed ready if you wanted. That's the same for those folks, but I really do like a low ready. If, for instance, I had to draw a firearm and start issuing commands, hey, buddy, leave me alone, get away from me, I don't want to mess with you, whatever. Then, I, and he decided to charge or continue to be a threat, now the gun comes up, I see my sights, I press my shot as I need to. So we're, we're running here with an ILF EQP. This is a pistoltraining.com. This is Todd Lewis Green's Fast Target. Um, and again, Ernest Langdon uses these all the time. Great target, and we're going to use these couples. So we are going to use, as I walk down here, we're going to use the eight inch circle, which is the outside diameter here of this gray circle as our eight inch circle. And we're going to use the head box here as our A zones. So we get five points if we get anything inside that. We get three points if we get anything inside of the white that is not in there. You get no points if you go below the head box on the headshots. This line here says no points below that. You get no points outside of those uh, if you hit outside here either. So it's five, three or nothing. Um, I haven't shot this today and I have just shot a couple of rounds for another video. I've got just a couple, but not a lot. So let's see how I do from the low ready. Now you could of course shoot this from whatever distance you want and record your scores because you're only competing against you. This isn't what, you know, a test for uh, uh, an official position or anything like that, you know, so you can shoot it from three yards if you want to. And then when maybe you get to a certain standard, then you can go from there. I would say this, I think that what we're going to do is, is what we normally say at seven yards from the holster, we say that when we uh, get our score, so we take our total points that we earned, we divide it by our time, multiply everything by 12.5, that gives us a normalized score. When we're drawing from the holster at seven yards, what we say is we want all concealed carriers to be at 30 or above. We want their final score to be 30 or above. As a professional, we want your score to be 50 or above. Uh, as a highly uh, skilled professional, 75 or above. As a master, 100 or above. We've only ever had one student get over 100, it ain't me. Now I'll tell you this, if we're working from the low ready, those scores are gonna go up significantly. A good CCW holder, we want about 75 and up. A professional, we want 100 and up. A highly skilled professional, we want about 110 to 115 and up. It's kind of a logarithmic scale, it gets harder to do. And a master is about 125 and up. See how I do today, eyes and ears. Okay, so we got a loaded gun, we're good to go there. Now then, so again, we're gonna go and we're gonna be at the low ready. We're gonna be down here like that. All right, here we go. Shooter ready. Okay, 0.51, we'll write that down. Point five one. see it again. Eight. All right, we're gonna draw and fire. To, well, we're not gonna draw, we're gonna go from the low ready. Again, low ready here though, still below the waist. We are going to fire two to the head. Two to the head. Get your hits, John. Draw, and now we're going to fire six.
Not as fast as I'd have liked. Ugh, terrible. All right, so we've got all those. Let's go check our points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're good on all those. So we're good on those hits, good on those two hits. So we got 50 points. 4.59 seconds is what I got out of that one. And I got 50 points. Let's see how that does for me today. Got to do the maths now. So uh, again, this just normalizes it to a normal score. So we take our 50 points, we divide it by my 4.59 seconds that that totally took me, and then we multiply that by 12.5, and that gets us 136.1. Um, so again, uh, maybe I got to slide that scale a little bit. I don't consider myself quite to be a master. I, I'm an advanced, you know, I'm kind of an advanced skilled uh, shooter, but not a master. So we're probably thinking about 150 and up for a master from this, quite frankly. But I got all my hits and got what I needed to get. So if you can't do this drill from the holster just because your range won't allow it, run it from the low ready. Recognize your, your numbers are going to come up quite a ways, and that's okay. You're just competing against yourself. I'll have to run it again and see if we can do any other time. We'll do it another week. So hope that helps you your next range trip.